They're off in the lonesome glory. Roger K. and Awesome Pearl go out to the lead. Charminster will be third early on, clear of his about. And then it's Scorpion Answer on the inside. And they're followed by Scudic, Jamarjo, and Swansea Miles. So they make their way after that first fence into the clubhouse turn. Rudyard K. out there on the lead here. The lead is a length and a half early on over Charminster, who races on the outside of Awesome Pearl. It's a break of another two back to Hisabot, and then Scorpion answered to the inside, followed by Jamarjo. Then Scudic and Swansea Mile as they make their way toward the back stretch here with nine fences remaining in the Grade One Lonesome Glory. And Roger K. and Jack Doyle are on top here. The pace very, very slow as they head toward this second fence with the lead now about a length and a half as Charminster is second and Awesome Pearl is third as they clear over there. His about follows in fourth about five lengths off the lead. And then Jamarjo who races in between Scudic and Scorpiancer and going over that fence last is Swansea Mile who's about nine lengths off of Rudyard Kay and Jack Doyle who continue to lead the way here in the Lonesome Glory. Rudyard Kay on top. After four fences, heads into this long flat run for quite a while here. Jack Doyle and Rudyard Kay, a length and a half clear of the eldest statesman in the field, Charminster, the 10-year-old who's second on the outside. His awesome Pearl is down toward the cones in third. Then comes his about in fourth. About four lengths off the lead here, just ahead of Jamar Joe. And then it's Scorpiancer inside of Scudic and Swansea Mile is last as they come into the stretch for the next time here. So it is Rudyard K coming to the fifth of ten with the lead here on top by two over Charminster as they all clear. And then comes Awesome Pearl on the inside. So this is sixth of ten. And again, no problem for any of the runners here going over these fences. Roger K still in the clear over Charminster. And on their inside is Awesome Pearl in third, followed by Hisabot, Jamar Joe, Scudic to the outside, Scorpiancer and Swansea Mile, seven lengths from top to bottom, and just sailing over there is Roger K. Roger K into the clubhouse turn with three more jumps to go here. The leader over Charminster, who's second on the outside. Awesome Pearl follows in third. And then it's Jamar Joe right to the outside of Hisabot, who's making the U.S. debut, running along in fifth here, clear of Scudic, who races on the outside of Swansea Mile and Scorpiancer as they go to the backstretch for the final time. And Rudyard Kay's got company from Charminster. And Charminster... The 10-year-old takes the lead on the outside. Charminster over there with Rudyard K in the clear from Jamar Joe. And then it's a break of another three back to Hisabot outside of Awesome Pearl, who's lost a bit of ground. Then Swansea Mile to the outside, followed by Scorpiancer. And Scudic is now last. And Scudic is dropping off the pace here as Charminster goes over the final fence. And we have a faller, Rudyard K fell. Roger K fell at that final fence. And now a flat race from here as Charminster leads the way by three lengths over Jamar Joe. And then it's Swansea Mile followed by Scorpiancer as they make their way around that turn. Charminster on top by three. Jamar Joe is second. Swansea Mile follows third as they come into the stretch for the final time here. And as they turn for home, it is still Charminster and Carol Sloan trying to take the Lonesome Glory. They've got a three-length lead. Jamar Joe, Swansea Mile, and to the far outside, it is Scorpiancer who's trying to close in, and he's doing it now. Here comes Scorpiancer on the outside of Jamar Joe. Back to third is Charminster, then it's Swansea Mile as Scorpiancer takes the Lonesome Glory. Then Jamar Joe... Charminster and Swansea Mile.